Hi, everybody. Old Dynamite here one more time, getting ready for AKA 28 here at Sam's Town Casino in Shreveport, Louisiana, and live on Fight. That's right, F I T E Worldwide Pay Per View. And right now, I'm standing next to one of our first professional fighters on the evening, making that long awaited professional debut. Here is the man, the fans, fighters, and friends and family known as Young Blood. It's Mr. Charles Levy. Charles, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. Now, Charles, you're stepping out of the amateur ranks. Now you're stepping into the professional ranks. Five-minute rounds. The competition takes a step up. You prepared for this? Oh, yes. I'm very prepared. Very well trained and ready to go. Now, you and Coach Georgetown, I mean, he's been around the game for such a long time, one of the best in the business. He always has you young men ready for war. Do you have any nerves or you're a little nervous about this making your pro debut in front of a sold-out crowd all the way up here in Shreveport, Louisiana? Nah, not at all, man. I mean, nervousness, it don't come. I mean, I train hard in the gym, so I guess I get that beat out of me enough. So come, coming up to this event, I mean, I'm ready. No nerves, no nothing. I mean, it's like a normal day to me. Now, one more question. Fighting here in Shreveport, you're kind of in enemy territory. Local hometown favorite Delaney Hall going to be in there with you, making his long-awaited return. He's had quite a layoff getting back in the cage. Does that bother you at all, knowing the crowd, you would be more behind him than you? Not at all. Not at all. When I'm in that cage, crowd don't exist. I'm in there with him, me and him. So when that, when that gate show, shut, it's just us. So it's on. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. He's smooth as silk and cool as a polar bear's toenails. Lot cocked and ready to rock for action here at AKA 28, making his professional debut, Young Blood, Charles Levy. And standing next to me is the other half of our big co main event here this evening, making his long awaited return to the cage right here in Shreveport, Louisiana. Ladies and gentlemen, the Predator is on the hunt one more time. Delaney Hall steps back in here to the AKA Cage. Delaney, it's been quite a layoff. You haven't been in the combat sports for a while. How does it feel to get back in there? Um, it feels great. Um, I feel like I have something to prove, even though I don't. You know, I'm proving it more to myself that I still can do it. Uh, I've been putting in work. You know, uh, I wish I could do more, but working a job and doing this, you know, I'm, I've, I've done what I need to do. I'm going to go in there and try to finish it out, you know. Now, you've got a young man coming in. He's making his professional debut. his first time stepping into the professional ranks. You've got him on the experience level, but he's got height. He's got reach. He's got size on you. You've got a game plan to try to get inside some of those long arms and avoid that striking. Yes, sir, most definitely. Um, he, he's a lot taller. He has a four-and-a-half-inch reach advantage on me. But the main thing is I can't worry about his reach. I have to find mine and uh, do what I have to do. Uh, I got, I got a plan. <laughs> now we go back to the old cliche, you know, ring rust, but getting back in the gym, building that cardio back up, starting to hit those mitts, was it kind of like riding a bike? You picked up where you left off, or was it a little rusty? It took you a little while to get back comfortable in the gym? Um, you know, it, it was I, – I still had it. You know, it just took me a while, yeah, to fine-tune everything. Um, if you're not doing it, you know what I'm saying, you, you don't, you know – you don't know if you can still do it. But I've been doing it. Uh, I've been training with some high-level guys who've been doing it. They haven't been out of the sport. And uh, I've been doing good. And I'm just going to keep getting better. Well, get ready, ladies and gentlemen, because in our big co-main event tonight, the Predator, Delaney Hall, steps back into the AKA cage one more time right here at Sam's Town Casino in Shreveport. <laughs> Time for the co-main event. Charles Levy, Delaney Hall. Man, I'll tell you what, these fans tonight have really, really impressed me at Samstown. Here we go, back to some five-minute rounds as we have two professional bouts in front of us. Charles Levy coming out, long, lanky guy. Delaney getting to his wrestling, nice. beautiful slam. Oh, and right into Mount. This is exactly what Delaney Hall needed to come out and get some momentum. He's in Mount, which is pretty much the most dominant position you can be in. He needs to relax here, create some space, and, and make some ground and pound happen. One thing that's worth noting, they can throw elbows now back in the professional ranks. Yes, One this hundred. is exactly where that comes in, in handy because it's sometimes hard to get the distance you need for a full-on punch here. People are uh, keeping you postured down, and this is where those little quick elbows come into play. I don't know how well-versed Charles Levy is in this spot, too. He's really not doing technical jujitsu things. He's, he's not shrimping or, or creating space. Delaney just needs to relax, hunker down, find his opportunity to start splitting this guy open. And he is high with that mount, too. Which makes it tough, tough to escape. 
finding some popping shots here. Charles Levy just holding on for dear life. Big oh, elbow nice from Delaney elbow. Hall. Delaney's got to be careful. Yeah, Charles he, got his feet on the fence. He needs to him away from the cage so that he can't use that to, to buck him off. To no avail. Good stuff. Delaney retains oh, position. He's able to maintain it, but will he be able to do it again? And it looks like we're back on our feet. Took a lot of effort from Charles. Big right hand, another level change from Delaney. This is exactly what he needs. Yeah, I think, He's I got think the, Delaney knows he needs to close the distance here and look for that. Uh, that Delaney's going to end up on bottom here. Tried to go for. Uh, Oh, he didn't though. <laughs> it's hard to call. In the moment, sometimes it looks like it. I, and maybe normally if um, Levy had more experience, it, it would have ended oh. up. It was a way. really poorly executed lateral drop is what yeah. it was. And what he ended up doing, we saw it earlier in an amateur fight, is he pretty much just pulled Mount. Delaney Hall in a good position. Let's see if he can find some ground and pound. He's got Look the neck. This. Levy giving up the back. Hall looking for the neck. Delaney really searching for that choke. Broken down. He's I cranking he his head pretty it. much the other way. He, he's cranking on that neck as Delaney Hall. He be patient here. He's got Good two and punches. A half this is exactly what he finish. needed to do. Find the spots, punch him up, soften him up, see if he can make him give up that choke a little easier. These are unanswered shots. The ref should be thinking about stopping this fight. Those are some pretty big shots raining big down shots. from Delaney He's Hall. He's really not doing a whole just, lot to defend. Just no defense. You have to defend yourself intelligently, and he is not at this point defending himself intelligently. Two minutes left to work here for Delaney Hall. It has been his fight to this point. Delaney working to flatten him out here. He's doing the right thing. Now posture up, find some punches. Honestly. Delaney just needs to keep punching. Get back to that spot, flatten him out, and punch some more. It looks like he, he, he wants that submission, but he can't quite get um, Levy to roll over with him. Well, he's listening to his corner. Tony Kelly telling him to get back on the back here. Did the right thing, and that's a good command from Tony. He does need to get on top. I would say Delaney needs a punch in this position. Big punches here. Delaney's corner asking him to adjust and find his back a little better before attacking the position. Looking for that arm now. No, maybe not. Yeah. Well, I think he was using it to yeah, kind of break his opponent so, yeah. down. He did a, a little quarter Nelson type crank. This choke looks a little tighter. He's got a full minute. That's tough. He's just stay patient here. I think looks he's like, got it. Yeah, that's that's got to be in there. He yeah. Tapped. Beautiful work by Delaney there Hall. What a return to the cage. What a moment for Delaney Hall. The fans on their feet once again here tonight. And this time it's because of Delaney Hall getting the finish at the end of round number one. And what a comeback. Uh, to come in here, you know, ha having had such a long layoff and, and go up against an opponent that, you know, fought Michael Mendel, the, the guy that's on our main event just back in November of 2022, which wasn't that long ago, and be able to inflict your will upon him, that's pretty impressive. I Guys, and if you could just look at the reaction from everybody, this is a big moment for Delaney. He's obviously been through an awful lot, and just to be back here at home in the Shreveport Arena, close to Benton with the, the crowd sold out in his favor, what a moment. I'm happy to see Delaney in well, the victory circle. Without going too deep into it, there's no one here tonight inside this cage that's been more resilient than Delaney Hall, and it's a great, great story to see him not only back in the cage, but to see him picking up the W here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee is called a stopper to the action at four minutes, eight seconds in the very first round. Therefore, declare your winner. Delaney Hall returns to the AKA cage in a very impressive fashion. He gets the submission finish at the end of round number one. Nine years, doesn't matter. Dude's, a, dude's an absolute freak in there. 
Yeah, Delaney's always been a really talented guy, a guy I would like to see maybe get back to cracking, get back in the gym. Maybe he can take this momentum and make something happen. Always been very talented.